In this video, we are going through the lower block signs, that's for primary 3 and 4, modules of cycles, topic is animals, and we are looking at some exam questions that have came out in previous CA1 and SA1s and SA2s. During the hotter months, a high number of Singaporeans may contract dengue fever, a disease caused by the Aedes mosquito. A teacher asked two pupils, Amelia and Brittany, to suggest ways to stop mosquitoes from breeding in a pond. Their suggestions are as follows. Now let's take a look at the picture first. So adult mosquito lays eggs and then the egg hatches into a wriggler which has a breathing tube. Wriggler turns into a pupa in the water as well. Pupa turns into an adult mosquito in the air. So their suggestions are as follows. Amelia is spray oil on the water surface. Brittany use a water pump to produce bubbles to ensure that the water is not stagnant. From the diagram above, how many stages are there in the life cycle of the Aedes mosquito? So there's one stage, regular two stage, three stage, four stage. All right, and the adult mosquito goes back to the egg. So there are four stages of the life cycle. Name another insect that has a similar life cycle as the mosquito. You can name a butterfly or you can name a beetle. All right, so both of them have four stage life cycles. Study the diagram of the wriggler above. Shown above, how does Amelia's suggestion kill the wrigglers? Let's take a look at, take a look at the diagram. So I have a wriggler over here. And interestingly, I have a breathing tube. So the wriggler actually breathes from the air. It takes in air from the breathing tube. So how does Amelia's suggestion kill the wriggler? So Amelia's suggestion is to put uh, is to put oil, spray oil on the water surface. So when you spray oil on the water surface spray oil will prevent the wriggler from taking in oxygen or from breathing uh, through they are breathing tube, all right? Because uh, the oil will prevent the wriggler from taking in, taking in oxygen or prevent the wriggler from breathing through their breathing tube or absor absorbing oxygen through their breathing tube and therefore they will die because living things need air, food and water. The teacher says that Brittany has a safer suggestion as it does not harm the other living things in the pond. Suggest another safe way to stop the breeding of the mosquitoes. So there are several other ways. So one of them is to uh, put fishes into the water. Alright, so when you put fishes into the water, what the fish will do is actually eat the uh, wrigglers and also the pupas as food. So that's how uh, it will prevent the spread of mosquitoes. The graph shows the number of days in each stage of a life cycle. So egg nymph, so as an egg, as a nymph, as an adult. So that means as a day, as, a, as an egg, it spends five days as an egg, it spends 10 days as a nymph, it spends 15 days as an adult. That's how you read this graph. Based on the graph above, which one of the following statements is true? The insect spends most of its life as a nymph. That is not true because the insect spends actually most of its life as an adult with 15 days in it. The insect's life cycle takes 25 days to complete. So the life cycle is 15 plus 10 plus 5. So that is... 25 that is 30 days all right so that is not true because the insect's life cycle is 30 days it takes five days for the insect to hatch from an egg so egg to nymph five days that's correct because it's five days as an egg 
the hatched nymph takes 15 days to become an adult. So nymph takes, that's wrong because the nymph takes 10 days to become an adult. So the answer is number 3. The diagram below shows the life cycle of a butterfly. I have an adult, I have an egg, larva, pupa. Life cycle of a butterfly. Which stage of the butterfly 1, 2, 3 or 4 shown above is harmful to a plant? So the butterfly is harmful to the plant when it is at the caterpillar stage because it eats plants. So which stage is it? The caterpillar stage? So that's known as the larva stage. So this is the caterpillar stage. So let's look at the answers. Actually, the answer is number two. Which one of the following is are true about life cycles? All living things have a life cycle. That's true. All right. All living things uh, will have the young and then something in between and then the adult. The life cycle of a human is a four-stage life cycle. That's not true. So we have the baby and then we have the young to the adult. All right, so there's three stage. We have a three stage life cycle, so it's not correct. The duration of the life cycle is similar for all insects. That's not true. Different insects have different durations as eggs, as nymph, as larva, as pupa. The young looks like it's adult in the life cycle of all living things. That's not true because if you look at the mosquito or the mosquito or the butterfly, uh, they do not look alike. Right, they look very different actually. So the answer is just A, which is number one. The diagrams below show the life cycle of a mosquito and a frog. So egg, larva, pupa, adult is a mosquito. Egg, tadpole, frog, that's a life cycle of a frog. Which characteristic of living things are these animals showing through their life cycle? So characteristics, animals need air, food and water they can grow, respond, and reproduce. So the one that they are showing is grow, right? They are showing the fact that they can grow. State a similarity between the two life cycles. So it's not the number of life cycles, but it's probably the similarity that I can see is that they both, both start from eggs. State a difference between the two life cycles. So for mosquito, for mosquito, it's a four-stage life cycle, but for the frog, it's a three-stage life cycle. So that's the difference between the two life cycles. Tadpoles go through a few physical changes as they develop into the adult frog. Name two ways in which the tadpole is different from the adult frog. Do not compare the size. Okay, so two ways that the tadpole is different from the frog is that the tadpole has a tail. Alright, this part is the tail and the tadpole actually breathes using gills. So the answer would be a tadpole, a tadpole has tails but the adult frog has legs. Right, the other one is a tadpole breathe through gills, but the adult frog breathe through its moist skin. All right, so that's the two difference between the tadpole and the adult frog. The graph below shows the amount of food eaten by a moth throughout its life cycle. So no food is eaten. The most food is eaten here. No food here and some food is eaten over here. So usually this will be the egg, larva, pupa, and adult. All right, so the way to remember uh, pupa is I always remember it as pupil, stays still. Alright, so when the pupil stays still, then the pupa is the one that is uh, staying still, like the pupil listening or paying attention in class. So then if this is pupa, then the other one will be larva. So I also can think of it as 
lava is flowing. You know, like the lava from volcano. Uh, so because the lava is flowing, it's moving. All right. So therefore, the lava is moving in a four-stage life cycle. So which part of the graph represents the pupa stage of the moth? So pupa, remember pupil stays still. Which part of it is still and it doesn't take in any food? It's not the egg. All right, egg, I think you know what is it. Uh, so therefore, it's D, E. It is the pupa stage. The moth lays its eggs on the leaves. Explain why. Because from egg, it becomes lava and lava eats leaves. All right. So explain why. So when the egg hatches into lava, because lava can move, right? Lava from the volcano can move, so lava can move, which is also known as the caterpillar. It can immediately find food all right now imagine if the uh, moth lays the eggs on a on a so there's a tree here and there's a piece of stone here if the moth lays eggs on the stone uh when the eggs hatch then they have to go all the way and be able to find some leaves in a tree to eat all right so that's probably they will die by the time they reach there. So that's why the moth will lay the eggs uh, on the leaves so that they can eat. When, when they hatch, they grow up and, oh, there's food around me straight away so they can eat immediately. Study the classification chart below carefully. Life cycles of animals. We have three stages, four stages. The young resembles the adult. The young does not resemble. The young does not resemble the adult. Okay, so three stages, four stage. So again, when I see this, I'll, pre I'll quickly put some examples over here. So young resembles the adult. I have cockroach, all right, which I know resembles. Young does not resemble the adult. I will have frog. Because there's tadpoles. Four stage young does not resemble the adult. I'll just quickly put down mosquito. Alright, so I haven't seen the question, so I just put this down uh, as my own analysis of the classification chart. So let's look. Uh, young resembles the adult. I know frog is not in because I know frog is over here. Uh, grasshopper, yep, grasshopper, cockroach, grasshopper. The young all resemble the adult. Young does not resemble the adult. The grasshopper is out. Frog is correct. Grasshopper is out. Mealworm beetle is out because mealworm beetle has a four-stage life cycle. Young does not resemble the adult as a four-stage. Butterfly is correct. Mealworm beetle is correct. Frog is out because frog is a three-stage life cycle. Butterfly is also correct. So with three ticks, it answers number two. So in this kind of questions, it's quickly just... You know, write down what you know about the uh, classification table A or B or C. Just quickly just write down, give yourself some examples. And then as you look at A, uh, just compare and write down uh, and put a tick and put a cross as what is correct and what is wrong. So I didn't see this question, this answers before I wrote down cockroach, frog and mosquito. Uh, it's also just for my own reference and also my own analysis of the classification table. Diagram below shows the life cycle of an insect, adult, pupa, larva, eggs. So again, this is a some kind of a beetle. All right. And that's a four stage life cycle. So let's take a look at the question. At which two stages of the life cycle does the insect does not need to find and eat any food? So remember, pupil, pupil will stay still. So they don't need to eat food uh, as well as the egg. egg don't really do anything, right? They're just an egg. So these are the two that will stay still and don't need food. The other two is the lava. So lava, remember lava will flow. Uh, and therefore lava will move. And anything that moves need to eat food. And adult, adult will also need food. So do not, does not need to find and eat food. It's pu pupil and egg, pupa and egg. So it's number two, pupa and egg. The diagram below shows the development of a bed bug from an egg to an adult. So I have an egg over here. 
I have some young over here, I have adult over here, so again is egg, young, adult, so there is a three stage life cycle, so let's take a look at the question. Based on the development shown above, what can you infer about the number of stages of life cycle of a bed bug? Cannot be 7 and cannot be 8 right? because you have not learned 7 and 8, so don't write 7 and 8. It's either 3 or 4, but there's 8 young and adult written here, so the answer is 3 and it cannot be 4 because otherwise they will show you the all 4 stages of the life cycle. Which of the following comparisons between the life cycle of a grasshopper and a butterfly is correct? Alright, so butterf uh, grasshopper and butterfly. So just quickly write down grasshopper, uh, you have the adult, then there is the egg, and then you have the young. Alright, and then for the butterfly, you have the adult, you have the egg, you have the larva, and you have the pupa. So it goes this way. Alright, so the it's young has wings. Grasshopper, no. Egg, young. Alright, grasshopper, youngs don't have wings. That's correct. Butterfly, youngs have wings. Nope, that's not correct because larva and pupa do not have wings. It's young is harmful to plants. No. Alright, uh, it's young also eat plants. So it's actually a yes. Grasshopper, young eat plants. Butterfly, young also eat plants. So both should be yes. The young looks like an adult, the young looks like an adult for the grasshopper, that's yes, and the butterfly, no, that's correct. There are four stages in this life cycle, grasshopper, yes, that's wrong, because there are three stages. Butterfly, yes, that's correct. So both correct is actually number three. So both, uh, for the grasshopper, the young looks like the adult, that's correct, and for the butterfly, the young does not look like it, the adult. So a few points to note, um, the young has wings. The young of a grasshopper actually do not have wings, so that's correct. Nah? And the young is harmful to plants, so the young of a grasshopper also eats plants. And this one also eats plants. So therefore both should be harmful to plants. Uh, so that being said, the answer is number 3 here. Which one of the following statements about the life cycles of animals are true? The life cycle repeats itself, that's correct, because there's always a circle, all right, and it will repeat itself. All the life cycles begin with a seed, that is not true. In terms of mammals, uh, they begin with the live young, or in terms of a non-flowering plants, they begin with a spore. There are four stages, not true. Some have three stages, some have four stages. Each life cycle takes different time to complete, that is correct. So each life cycle will take a different time to complete. So some will take longer as a pupa, some will take longer as a uh, larva. So the answer is num a, a and D, which is number 4. Study the life cycle of animal X below as an egg to a larva 3 to 5 days. So therefore it spends as an egg 3 to 5 days, as a larva 8 to 10 days, as a pupa, 6 to 8 days before it becomes an adult, back to the egg. What is the greatest number of days animal X will take to become an adult from the egg stage? So egg, 3 to 5 days, so I need to take the greater number, 5. Larva, 8 to 10 days, plus 10. Uh, pupa, 6 to 8 days, plus 8. If I add everything up, I get 23. So it's 23 days. So it's the greatest number of days, so I need to take all the bigger numbers over here. Alright, that's the that's how I find the greatest number of days. Take the animals that have a similar life cycle as animal X. So animal X has four stage life cycle. Four stage. So dragonfly is not correct because dragonfly is a three stage. Butterfly is correct, it has four stage. Frog is incorrect, it has also a three stage B. So B actually has a four stage life cycle as well, so this is correct, so the answer is butterfly and B. Besides laying eggs, name another similarity between the life cycle of animal X and a cockroach. So first of all, a uh, cockroach has three stage life cycle, so it's not the number of stages. So this is something that you might not have learned before. Uh, 
it's called molting. All right. So both animal eggs and the cockroach will molt. Molt basically means so molting basically means the insect will shed or they will drop off drop off their hard outer covering which is also known as their exoskeleton all right so you might notice that the exoskeleton is hard so it's it, it doesn't grow with the insect so as the insect grows bigger so as the insect grows from here to here hey, that's actually six legs huh and three body parts so anyway Anyway, you get my point. So as the insect grow from here to this size to this size, what happens is the, the the exoskeleton doesn't grow with it. So what they do is they actually throw the old one away and they will then grow a new one from the inside. All right. So the exoskeleton doesn't grow bigger. They will shed it or they will let it go and then it will grow bigger. So this process is called molting. So that's something new you can learn here.